Okay. So we were talking about the Bessemer steel process. So this is the process of hardening iron by melting it down and reforming it to where it's a solid structure. Because iron, when it comes out of the ground, it's real lumpy and it's really amorphous. It doesn't really have a set shape. But when we melt it into molds and stuff, it creates a really strong material that's really malleable and lets us do a lot of different things. Okay. So a few of the Gilded Age innovations that came out during this era is the sewing machine, the transatlantic cable, dynamite, typewriters, air brakes, mail order catalogs, barbed wire, telephones, phonographs, light bulbs, peanut butter, gasoline automobiles, airplanes, alkaline batteries, the Model T car, Bessemer steel, the radio, x-ray, subways, camera and film, skyscrapers, and the cash register. Just to name a few. Now, this is a lot of stuff, y'all. It's a lot of stuff that came out of here, and a lot of stuff is the foundation of the technology that we're using today. You know, we have camera and film. I'm talking to you through the internet, recorded. This would never have happened had it not been for camera and film. Like, all of these things can be linked to something we utilize today. All right, so the innovations with the highest impact. All right, the light bulb. The light bulb. Yeah. yeah. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. And, well, it was patented by Thomas Edison. Therefore, he gets the credit. So light bulbs allowed people to see in the dark when it was nighttime. Because it used to be, you know, when it was nighttime, you were in your home asleep. You didn't waste your candles, because that's all you got. You got some dim firelight. Mm, yeah, you're pretty much functionless after dark. But with the light bulb, this allowed people to be up at all hours. It allowed factories to be open at all hours, which allowed for more goods to be produced, which allowed for more money into the economy. Right, the Transcontinental Railroad allowed raw materials and goods to be shipped across the continent. So all that iron and all that coal and all that whatever they're finding in the mountains in the West can be sent back to the East to be manufactured to increase that industry. The Bessemer steel process. This created stronger and cheaper steel. So it was a lot e easier. It was a better product, and it was a product that didn't cost as much to make. Right? And because this material was stronger, it, we were able to do a lot more with it. So we were able to build bigger boats, like the Titanic was made with Bessemer steel. Now the Titanic, it sank, we know. All right, skyscrapers, the Empire State Building, made of Bessemer steel. Before we had this steel process, the tallest buildings were 10 stories high. And when you were on the top floor and the wind blew, it would wobble. It's some scary stuff. So probably one of the most critical to me is the assembly line. So this increased productivity so people were able to make more things really fast. It also created, it, we went from a transition to people needing to have a skill, people needing to have an idea what they're doing. You know, if you're in a factory building a car, you need to know about the whole car to a job where you didn't know, need to know about the whole car. You just need to know how to uh, screw the bolt on the tire in front of you. That's all you needed to know because the next guy was going to do the next thing and the guy before you did the thing before. And all you need to know is how to screw that one screw. So 
really specialized jobs became really low skill, which created heightened competition within the labor force. So I'm going to pause for now, start a new video.